In this video, I'm going to show you three things you can do to improve your audio narration. Okay, so what prompted this video was that I received some audio files from one of my clients and upon further inspection, I realized that the audio files were okay, they were usable, but they needed some help. So I decided to take them into Adobe Audition and do some cleanup. And there's three things that I'll share with you today that I found that I had to do with pretty much all of them. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Audition. Now, I'm using Adobe Audition because I'm a Creative Cloud subscriber. However, you can use just about any audio editing software to do this here. So let's take a look at this audio file. So the first thing that stands out to me is that when you look at these levels here, this is extremely quietly recorded and uh, that's going to be a problem. You know, you, don't, you want the narration to be loud and clear and so forth. The other thing too, looks like there's like maybe a little vocal pop somewhere around here and we need to fix that as well that's probably a hard p, p, p or something like that so we want to make sure we get rid of that as well and uh, lastly of course if we are going to increase the amplitude of this recording we're probably going to accentuate some noise that's in the recording itself so we're going to want to deal with those three things so the first thing that we want to do and, and with adobe audition you can move your mouse over the scale here and just get a nice close-up size of what sort of levels that we really want to achieve here and you know when i take a look at this i see minus 18 here and i go across and really that anything um, beyond minus 18 db is going to take care of this here you want to be careful with doing a hard limit a hard limit's basically uh, giving your audio a haircut. It's chopping the top and of course the bottom here as well, but chopping the top off the longest uh, peak in this. And of course you want to be careful. If you go too much, it's going to dramatically change the waveform of your audio recording, but you certainly want to get rid of anything that's going to sound not too great here. So I like to use the, uh, the hard limit uh, controls that are built in here and that you're going to find in amplitude and compression and we're going to go down to hard limiter the first time you open this you might see a different value here uh, you can adjust this to be whatever it is that you need it to be in this case here i'm going to stick with that minus 18 db we're going to go with that and we're going to go ahead and apply that and you're going to see that the waveform is now nice and smooth most of it's unaffected but there are a few peaks you can see them here and here that have been chopped off so like i said it's like giving your audio a haircut the next thing we want to do remember of course i had to increase this quite a bit just to see the waveform here we want to normalize the audio and that's actually in your favorites here if we click on favorites I like to go to normalize to minus 3 dB. That seems to work well with Adobe Captivate. And you'll see it just bumps up your, your audio recording um, just to a much louder, brighter level. Now, as we've increased the volume, we've also increased the volume of background noise. And if you pick an area where there's no speaking, usually at the beginning and the, and the end, you can find an area where there's some background noise just by itself and we're going to select that just using our mouse there we're going to click on effects and we're going to go into noise reduction and choose noise reduction process first thing we need to do here is capture a noise print based on the selection that we've made so i'm going to capture noise print it really just does a sample of where the noise is in this particular file here and I'm now going to select the entire file so it selects the whole form and we're going to apply noise reduction at a rate of 50 percent and in those cases where noise is detected we're going to drop that by 16 dB which should be enough not to damage the quality of the audio but at the same time greatly reduce that 
that background noise. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So you can see right off the bat, certainly in some of these quieter areas, it's almost completely eliminated that. The last thing I like to do, of course, in preparation of importing this file into Adobe Captivate, I'm going to chop all this extra audio off here and I can highlight that and just simply click delete. And we'll do the same thing at the end of my file. Usually there's like the turning off of the microphone or something like that, a little click. We're going to delete that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I just need to exit that. We'll save that particular file there. And I'm going to go ahead and just open up a blank project in Adobe Captivate for illustrative purposes only here. I'm just going to go ahead and change that to a blank slide. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drag and drop that slide 49 wave file onto the slide here. It's going to import the audio and it automatically extends the duration of the slide to accommodate that. One thing I like to do is I like to put a little bit of that space back in but do so manually. So I'm going to click on the one second mark and using a really cool keyboard shortcut control P which will push your audio to that playhead position and that of course pushes the uh, duration of the slide out as well and then I'm going to roll it back a little bit by using the same control or if you're on a Mac command P and that of course adds a half second blank at the beginning and end of your slide and there's several advantages to that. I like to imagine this as being the instructor of classroom session turning to his or her screen clicking their little clicker and advancing their PowerPoint presentation to the next slide, turning back to the class and beginning to address them, all of which probably only takes about half a second or so. But it makes your narration sound, in my opinion, much more natural. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.